May I please have Griffin, front and center. For this tale, we shall be asking for a different type of suggestion. And this suggestion is about the world with which this character encompasses. Of course, we know the normal seas of our world. Up is down. Left is left. Right is right. We all know that gravity works, the laws of physics, emotion. If someone hurts you, you feel bad. If someone gives you kindness, you feel good. Things that we all take for granted. But of course, in the improv zone, something is very different. What is that one thing that is different in this world? It can be something, for example, a mirror looks at you. <laughs> or perhaps it could be, be that left is right. What one thing would you imagine is different in this world? Laughter is a threat. Laughter? <laughs> yes! <laughs> For you see, in this world, laughter <laughs> is a threat. Hey, yo, bro! Bro, bro! So this alpaca walks into a room in a business building where he works, right? Right? And then his boss fires him and he says, fine, I'll pack on my bags! And leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Did you actually just laugh at my joke? I coughed! I was training you to not laugh. That wasn't even freaking funny! Come on, man. Here I am, I'm telling you all these jokes, you need to stay strong because there are a lot of people who are going to be laughing out there and you can't be one of them because then the people will think you're a threat. Todd, look, I appreciate it. You're a really good roommate and I know I'm new to this university. I, I just appreciate all the help. Clearly, you clearly don't, you clearly don't. I told you I'm a terrible joke and you laughed at it. Don't you care for your own safety? I do, I do, I just... I mean, I, I haven't been to, like, the big city, like Modesto. <laughs> Pretty big. Yeah, where I come from, you know, people are a little more relaxed about the laughing thing. Well, look, when I first came to Modesto, the biggest city that I've ever been to, <laughs> I came in, and the first thing I saw was a line of people laughing at me. And I almost died. Oh my gosh. Is that how you got that giant scar along your leg? That is! That is! And now I've nicknamed it Frown. <laughs> so that I'll never laugh at it either. We cannot let this happen. We cannot let this become us. You must work towards not laughing so you will not be a threat. Can you do that? And can you guess? What happens if someone were to be caught laughing in this world? Thank you. Spanking. <laughs> yes. Severe <laughs> spanking. Well, I just got my I just got my classes. Um, let's see. I have physics, math, stand up. I didn't know that was a class I had to oh take. Oh my god! You're taking stand up. Wow, it's like asking, that's like asking people to threaten you. Oh man. Oh my god. Oh Todd, my. you gotta help me. I got a real, real petite butt. <laughs> you, can't be you do have a real petite butt. You noticed. I have, it's a night, yeah. And so, <laughs> listen, you gotta beef up. You gotta beef up. This is a world full of laughing people. They wanna laugh at you and they wanna threaten you, so you gotta beef up so your ass can be spanked and not, you know. Good, you can't. <laughs> you gotta beef up <laughs> so that if they laugh at you, you can bite back and laugh right back if you have to. Gosh, I gotta eat more of those uh, good carbs at the dining hall. <laughs> yeah. You know, the pasta and stuff? Yeah, the non Cheerios. The non Cheerios. Uh, my class is about to start. Daniel, uh, I'm from the registrar's office. I've seen you try to rescind in your, your stand up class. Sorry, locked in. It's the registrar's rule. <laughs> we'll, see you. we'll see you in Stand Up 106. One hour later, in Stand Up 106. <laughs> Welcome, class, to Stand Up. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> well, looks like you're the only one who decided to come to our house today. Good. Hate to think that some people are trying to avoid taking stand up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see we got a funny man. <laughs> Isn't that good for this class? You try to make people laugh? Isn't that what stand up is? Make people laugh? We come to stand up to learn to not laugh. Telling jokes is the ultimate attack that you can make upon your enemies. The ultimate threat. And we need to be here to train to not laugh. Right. Now I see what you're doing. You're doing some advanced stuff, some advanced punny. You've got to be careful with that. Okay. I, I will. Sorry, I'm not from Modesto. <laughs> <laughs> hey! 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 hey. Laughter. Oh no. Oh no, the spanking. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm so oh. sorry. <laughs> sorry, no, uh, not, not in class. Not in class. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, really. You get a word. <laughs> now listen. You may have a gift at making people laugh. And you need to be careful with that gift. Professor Johnson? Yeah? <laughs> I, uh... Look, if I can speak to you kind of on a private level... Yeah. I came to this university with a specific mission. Oh. The government has selected me. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, related to the military, and I've been hey, tapped. Hey, get out. <laughs> <laughs> I've been tactically trained how to weaponize laughter. So wait, wait, uh, laughing for? <laughs> wait, don't you, you have the tattoo all the time? <laughs> 2004. I did three tours in New York City. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I've heard stories. And of course we know that New York City is the laughing capital of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> and what will the professor tell his student now that will forever change his life for the worst? He murdered someone. He murdered someone with laughter. That's right. You gotta tell him, put down, put down in New York. New York is a funny city. We <laughs> <laughs> do whatever it takes to make someone laugh. Have you ever seen a man laugh so hard that his lungs deflate, his internal organs collapse, he shrivels into a ball, a husk? A laughing horse? I, I don't think so. Those are all internal things. It'd be hard for me to see. <laughs> you see the effects. Man goes damn near inside out. Is that what happened, Professor Johnson? Did you laugh a man to death? <laughs> I did. David, son, you've got a gift, and you've got to protect Modesto. And the greater. California area. <laughs> I need to learn your ways. Teach me to kill with laughter. All right. <laughs> hey, so I had a lot of fun on those dates with you. I, uh, I just. I've been diagnosed with a fatal posterior condition. <laughs> and I don't have time to dedicate a relationship 
with someone I don't like very much. <laughs> Look, I don't want to be with you, Daniel. What is We had fun, but you're not what I'm looking for. Well, then who are you looking for, Liz? Someone lighthearted. Someone... <laughs> Someone who makes me smile. You wanna... You want me to make you laugh? No. Daniel, how could you? You <laughs> In my condition. I realize that. I mean, you can't even sit, it looks like. It's <laughs> awful. You must have terrible cramps. It's but, debilitating. Liz, I promise I can be light-hearted without making you laugh. No, you know what? You're just not that nice and not that funny, Daniel. And you know what? You're not even very cute. <laughs> Liz, look! Look, there's a discarded banana peel! <laughs> Walking towards him! Whoa! of this earth. <laughs> and what did he do to make all three laugh to their demise? Peekaboo! Peekaboo! <laughs> <laughs> the Achilles heel of everything. I bet you couldn't make us to laugh if you tried. This is the Big Apple. It doesn't, take, it doesn't take little funny jokes to make us laugh over here. You're gonna have to really try. Don't give in. Don't give in. They're going. They're goading you. Well, you know what? I represent Modesto, and according to this tattoo I got across my chest, I think I can. So check this out, you New Yorkers. I thought it, that's what I'm going to 
training for. That's why I came to university and I took all those student loans out. <laughs> you were training to protect Modesto. But they were making fun of Modesto. They called it a cow town. We had a lot of other things. We had a nice uh, chocolate store. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you learned so many amazing lessons. <laughs> There's one lesson you didn't learn. When not to make people laugh. You can't go back, son. Well, you can't tell me what to do. Core rules. <laughs> I see what's happening to you. What's that? You like coming cool? Did you see my new tattoo? I see the tattoo. I also see how your uh, right hand is twitching a little bit. Jerking of the head. You're thinking about doing a pratfall, aren't you? <laughs> so what if I am? You've got a little uh, twitch in your rug there. I might trip over. <laughs> Ooh, I'm stepping towards Just it. Just say... Say no. It's too tempting, Professor. Oh, no! <laughs> Damn it, son! <laughs> You're the funniest man. <laughs> I've ever met. Damn it! This is gonna kill you. You, 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 you gotta get out. Don't go back on another tour to New York. You can stay here. But no, of course you he didn't stay there. Overcome with absolute power of comedic genius, <laughs> he roamed from town to town, <laughs> laughing, joking. Laughing, people falling, one after the other. Daniel, I'm here from the Laughing Corps. It seems that the USO has decided to bring you up. You're going overseas, buddy. <laughs> You're the military's greatest weapon. To like London town. To the place where the war is currently. Oh that no! Our nation is fighting with. Oh, not that place. Country. Oh, I hate how they didn't name it. <laughs> Daniel, here are the plans. It's very serious. As you can see, we have an entrapment of enemies all the way over here. But it's very difficult. Do you see? There's a large group of civilians that could get damaged collaterally. It's very important that you use your weapons only on our enemies. Well, okay, I have to study them, though. Okay. Civilians, would they like jokes about cheese? No. <laughs> then, no jokes can be said around any civilians, don't you understand? No, no, but I can do this. I can tell jokes that only the soldiers find funny. The civilians don't. Therefore, I will kill all the soldiers, not the Who civilians. Who do you think you are? <laughs> <laughs> that I, kind of humor, specificity has not existed since 1932. Ah, uh, yes. That year that we were in a war with another country. <laughs> the Great Goof. I did hear stories. <laughs> Over 400 confirmed laughing pills. <laughs> You're nothing like him. I can be a goof! <laughs> Look, you need to go in and stay to the plan. You go around telling individual knock-knock jokes to each soldier, one by one. <laughs> Don't get cocky and think you can go in there and do it all in one go. You don't know me. You don't know Modesto. <laughs> Send me out there. Oh, isn't it great, Sister Marshall, that even though our country is at war with Modesto, <laughs> that we civilians, us just girls, are safe. So in safe. Marketplace. Attention! Oh! Soldiers and civilians of the unnamed country. Knock, knock. <laughs> Did you hear this? Sh should we answer, Marsha? I said knock, knock. Who, who's there? Banana. Oh. No, Marsha, no! Banana who? Knock, knock. <laughs> Sister, <laughs> banana who? Don't answer. Knock, knock. <laughs> Stand back. 
us. I did something terrible. I killed so many civilians in an unnamed country. You heard on the news, didn't you? I heard about it on SNL. <laughs> oh no! New show. Boeing Yang did a parody of me, didn't he? <laughs> Listen. I don't tell a lot of people this. But that person that I deflated in New York, they were a civilian too. I always assumed that this random person in New York was an enemy combatant. <laughs> <laughs> was someone high and mighty talking, talking real tough about Modesto. <laughs> so, I just, so I just walked up. I saw the marble on the ground. And well, you know how. Oh, the old marble trick. It's the funniest one in the book. Listen, son. You can get through this, okay? It's going to take a long time. But you can learn that laughter is something meant for the... Professor Johnson, I have a court martial. In one hour. And if I'm found guilty, it's a thousand spades. I'll never survive! Did you see my petite rope? One hour later. No. I, I brought someone to speak on my behalf. It's, it's my professor. That's Should fine, let's see them. Okay, it's professor! <laughs> Listen. Daniel's a good kid. Okay. He... <laughs> he sometimes loses control and just feels this strong desire to laugh. But as you can see, he's standing here. He's not trying to make anyone laugh. No, in that country, I don't think it worked in translation, the joke I was telling you. <laughs> We've all told a joke that didn't land well or landed too well. Sure. But, but, but look, at, look at my client now. He's not tripping. He's not knock-knock joking. <laughs> I'm just right here. Professor Johnson. Look at that loose floorboard there. Resist! <laughs> resist! And of course he did not resist. For he did his final opus. Comedic genius. Professor joke. Johnson. I can't. I think we no, don't let you. No! <laughs> He made one final joke that only he knew, an inside joke, as it were. <laughs> Can I just ask you something? What do you call the best place in the world? Mabesto. <laughs> <laughs> And of course we know on the improv zone. Humor is in the eye of the beholder just as everything else is. For you see, in the improv zone, sometimes your own end is not the most funny. 